safest thing to do during the heat is to stay indoors if you can. But what about those who don't have that option? Abby Kirk continues our team coverage tonight live outside our studio. Abby, where do people without homes go during all this heat? Hey, Josh, Latricia, yeah, that's the question. As temperatures reach nearly the triple digits, people right here in Chattanooga tell me they're just trying to beat the heat on the street. Dangerously hot and nowhere to go. It's killing us. Just find a shade. I mean, you I find a shade tree and just get and just lay down and sweat. At last count, nearly 700 people are living homeless in the Chattanooga area. All day in the hot sun is no fun at all and I can brew with everybody. It's no fun. Most roaming for a place to just cool down. The library will still stay open to about like seven or whatever. And then come out of the library, then it is what it is. I just, I just survive. I just try to survive. We tend to see a spike. David Costello is the community engagement director at the Community Kitchen, an organization dedicated to helping the homeless. He says they've served more than 34,000 meals since June. There aren't a lot of places that they can go during the day um, because a lot of our shelters here in town are just overnight shelters. But during the day is when those scorching temps hit, and he says they've been feeling the crunch. We just try to encourage people to, to take care of themselves physically, but also from a uh, mental perspective, too. You know, take care of yourself, and we're here to help. Encouraging those who can to get inside. You just beg hope for mercy. I mean, it's almost to the point where you'd rather be locked up in jail or in prison just to get in the air condition and get fed good. Costello tells me there are ways that you can help. Any support is welcome, whether that's donating a bottle of water, donating money, or just simply spreading word of mouth. He says he just wants people to realize that there are resources available for you out there. Reporting live outside our studios, Abby Kirk, News Channel 9. Thank you, Abby. The Salvation Army says they're extending their hours on day shelters available with AC and hydration stations. For a full list of locations near you, go to our website, newschannel9.com.